Right guys, this is Dave from Wild Geese Fitness Training. Um, I'm going to talk snatch. Because um, some of the people I train online don't have access all the time to heavy enough kettlebells. Um, training in a commercial gym, they're usually terribly stocked. They don't have the selection you'll have in a place like this, in a private gym, in a, you know, in a kettlebell focus place. So occasionally we get questions on the dumbbell snatch as opposed to the kettlebell snatch. Um, is it better? How do we do it? So we're gonna have a look at it quickly today. So we're gonna, um, we'll cover the kettlebell snatch very, very quickly. We'll show you the dumbbell snatch very, very quickly. We'll show you why they're the same and why they're different, okay? Uh, so I have here, there's a 24 kilo bell. There's a dumbbell loaded to 25 kilos. So they're about the same. All right, so near it makes no difference. So, <clears throat> kettlebell snatch is a swinging pendulum action. The weight will travel in a circuitous path to a lockout. It's very much driven from a hip hinge, and the power is very much generated from a good backswing, which loads up the, the extensor chain. It loads up the, the hamstrings, the back, the glutes, and gives you that drive through. Um, you will also see, depending on who is doing the snap, varying degrees of knee dip, but you'll never see a squat type action. So easier to show than explain it. So your kettlebell snatch, back swing, and that drives it forward. Load, explode, and catch. Load, explode, and catch. Now there are varying styles, you'll see a bit of dip from the knees with the guys that do the sport, just to add a bit more quad to the equation as well as everything else. But you see how the bell travels in that circular path, very much relying on the eccentric load to spring the bell back up. Okay? Now, we take our dumbbell. The dumbbell is closer to the barbell lift, which if you're familiar with Olympic weightlifting, um, you'll have seen the snatch lift. With the dumbbell then, it travels in a much more vertical path and drops. Now you've options. There is a dead start snatch with the kettlebell. Um, a lot of people teach it, a lot of people like it. I think it's, it's, it's not a good lift, but my opinion, don't always take my opinion. The dumbbell, and you've got the option of either arresting it before it hits the floor, so basically once it passes the knees, or resting it momentarily on the ground. Um, quite often, in uh, certain fitness competitions, the rule is you change hands on the floor, so you snatch, just to ensure uh, it's a good rep. <coughs> Advantages, disadvantages, while it's the same exercise as the snatch, the movements are different enough that I, you could classify them as two different exercises. The dumbbell snatch, more vertical, yes, there's posterior chain, yes, there's hamstring, there's glute, there's back, probably a little bit more back, a lot more quad. You don't get the same hamstring load because this vertical position here will spread it a little bit more through the, the entire leg, quads and hamstrings, rather than here where it's taking it clearly into the back of the leg. Is one better than the other? No. Should one take precedence over the other? Not necessarily. 
I would say if you're going to use the dumbbell snatch, because I'm a huge proponent of loading that posterior chain, particularly in an eccentric manner, um, you should maybe complement it, I'll show you this side, complement it with some nice, more straight leg, single leg deadlifts. Um, something that's a bit more eccentric emphasis on that posterior chain. Um, but anyway, that's the dumbbell snatch, that's the kettlebell snatch. They're interchangeable to a point. Less quads, a little bit more lower back with your uh, kettlebell. A lot of mid and upper back and a bit more quad, less hamstring with uh, your dumbbell snatch. So make intelligent decisions. You can substitute. If, uh, if you're working in a commercial gym, you don't have access to a wide range of kettlebells, by all means, grab a dumbbell. That's a play loadable, adjustable dumbbell. The gym you're in probably has a wide, wide rack. Alrighty. Uh, so I'm Dave from Morgan's Fitness Training. Thanks for watching.